Radar is an object detection system developed during World War II, which uses electromagnetic waves to determine the relative position and velocity of objects. A radar system consists of a transmitter and a receiving antenna to detect reflected waves, which are processed to characterize the object. An object's radio cross-section characterizes the extent to which an object reflects or scatters radio waves. This technology allowed militaries in particular to react to incoming vehicles much earlier and more effectively. Thus, an arms race to develop better detection and stealth techniques to combat these advances arose. In this video, we will look at four radio-absorptive materials, two of the first techniques invented and two of the most promising techniques currently being researched. The Salisbury screen technique works by splitting the instant wave into two upon hitting the front surface of the dielectric, one transmitted and one reflected. The transmitted wave travels into the material before reflecting off a metallic back surface. If the dielectric's electrical thickness is matched to a quarter of the wavelength of the instant wave, then the transmitted wave emerges perfectly out of phase with the reflected wave and the two destructively interfere and cancel. Pyramidal absorbers use two different principles to reduce reflected rays across a broad band of frequencies. Firstly, repeated reflection which is a property of the square pyramid shape, maximizes the number of bounces a wave makes within the structure. With each bounce, the instant wave loses energy to the material in the form of heat. Secondly, an impedance gradient works to mitigate reflections by ensuring a smooth impedance change. At the front face, the impedance is very close to 377 ohms matching that of free space. This gradually reduces to zero ohms at the base of the pyramid. One of the big disadvantages of traditional rams are their inability to change the reflectivity in reaction to differing situations. This often means that an object treated to avoid detection will always be difficult to detect, even when stealth is detrimental to the task. Graphene presents an interesting solution to this problem, in that it is an atomically thin material. This means that it has negligible effects on the reflection of microwaves unless there are abundant free charges on it. Thus, with electrostatic doping, the application of a voltage across the material, it can be used as a switchable radar-absorbing surface. The scaling of this technology to create controllable OCS signatures will be incredibly interesting in upcoming years. The latest advancement in RAM technology, plasma graphene, has demonstrated phenomenal attenuation properties, with one proposed design achieving a 10 dB frequency bandwidth from 3.3 to 70 GHz, even at oblique incidences up to 60 degrees, all while remaining only 16 mm thick. At high frequencies, the weakly ionized plasma subjects the electromagnetic wave to absorption as well as scattering, and at low frequencies, graphene's attenuation properties allow a broadband absorber to be achieved. The main limitation of plasma RAS currently is the required power. For krypton gas, the required power per volume is significant at 62.2 kilowatts per meter cubed, considering RAM technology is mainly employed on vehicles. So thanks for watching, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe and follow so you don't miss any of JTS's EMAG videos.